Got that? All yeah. right. As you get smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. you don't need thick limbs. How thick is an insect leg? Yeah, not thick. Not. Right. It's not. The ant picks up something that weighs as much as it does. Right. And when walks around walks with around it. Walks around with it. The smaller you are, the even less you weigh for how small you are. Because weight scales as your volume. Weight scales as your radius cubed, but your strength scales as radius squared, which is basically your cross section. This difference means as the animal gets larger, its weight outstrips the ability of its strength to hold up its body. So it needs really, really fat legs to compensate. Gotcha. As you get smaller, the weight starts going away fast because now the radius is getting smaller and smaller and then the area basically wins because now your, your, your volume gets smaller faster than the cross-sectional area gets. So try this, right? If your radius is two, then your volume goes as radius cubed. So what is two times two times two? That's you get eight. what? Eight. Right. That's the eighth. Right. Okay? So you get this crossover point in the animal kingdom. That's how the smaller the creature, the bigger is the weight it can carry. That's why Relative to its own body weight. That's amazing. And the higher it can jump. Right. Because the its body mass isn't much relative to what the legs are. Which is the creepiest thing in the world when you see a kangaroo mouse. Oh. Jump. It's a tiny little mouse, uh -huh. and it can jump like six <laughs> feet. <laughs> like, no. Or flee, which is, you know, barely yeah, the size barely of the thing. Barely visible. And then they count how high above its height right. it can jump. 